Welcome to another edition of Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here. Uh, this week we've been studying about our spiritual health. Um, we are very careful about our physical health. We do certain things, we avoid certain things to make sure that we are doing okay physically. Uh, how about our spiritual health? Uh, 3 John verse 2, uh, John prays and he says, I pray that you may prosper and in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. It is God's desire that we do um, thrive and we are fine in all areas of our lives, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And just like how we can do certain tests to find out if we are doing physically, we can do certain things to find out if we are doing spiritually as well. And one of the tests or one of the checks is the prayer check. So this is a test to find out what has been or what, uh, what is the level of prayer in a, in a believer's life. You know, prayer is very important for a believer. Like someone said, it's like, uh, it's like breathing. Um, uh, it's like breathing for a believer. Prayer is very important. It is communion with God. We, we know that prayer is speaking to God and prayer is also spending time listening to Him. Um, when we pray, it is not just lifting up our needs to Him, but we also intercede for the needs uh, of others. And we, in fact, pray the desires and the will of God over other people. It could be people, it could be nations, it could be, it could be several things. And when we pray, we also we know that we've been given the privilege to pray in the Spirit, to pray in tongues. And so when we pray in tongues, it brings us personal edification. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 talks about how a believer is built up and edified on the inside when a believer prays in tongues. So prayer is a very important discipline, is a very important aspect in a, in a believer's life. The, the question that we need to ask ourselves is, um, am I committed to praying regularly? Am I committed to praying frequently? Or uh, is there prayerlessness in my life? Uh, when there is prayerlessness in a person's life, it leads to all kinds of problems. They are not spiritually strong. There is, uh, there's, uh, you know, the person opens the door for temptations and so on. So as we see in the Bible, we see several examples. We see the Lord Jesus spending whole nights in prayer. We see Daniel who had a set time and a set place for prayer. And uh, we see that as believers, we can actually pray right through the day uh, in prayer and commune with God. So today, as we look at our own lives, let's check and see if we are spending sufficient time in prayer. If not, we can make that change. Let's pray. Father, we look at our own lives and if there is prayerlessness in our lives, if we are not spending sufficient time alone with you in prayer, in all kinds of prayer, thanksgiving and submission and praying in tongues, Lord, we pray that you would quicken our hearts, Lord, today to come to a place of spending time intentionally in prayer, that we might be strong and that we might thrive spiritually. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.